welcome to Frontier Canaxis Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echo, uh, Braden Fernandez, Killian Stewart, and Desmond on the scene today. It is the uh, Frontier Red Hawks versus the Green Wave, uh, Greenfield Green Wave. And today it's the state round of 16. These two teams faced last week, about a week ago, in the Frontier Western Mass Final, where Frontier came from behind and won 2-1. to one. Um, Frontier, they're coached by Missy Mahar, assistant coach Elizabeth Wickline, and assistant Rose uh, Lavazier. And Greenfield's coach is Aaron Thayer. Today, it's it's going to be another interesting game. I want, I am going to wait to see who changes what and who's going to pull off the win this time. Uh, we'll quickly go through the starting lineups. First, we'll go for the Greenfield Green Wave. We have in gold, number zero, Ainsley Flynn. Uh, number one, Lily, uh, Lilia Carmichael. Two, Josie uh, Clotier, Clotier. Uh, three, Mackenzie Boswell. Number four, Mackenzie Pollen. Number five, Gloria McDonald. Number six, uh, Cassie Clotier. Number seven, Amelia Keeler. Number nine, Brielle Widilo. Number 18, Ivy Ray. 19, Madeline Hayes. On the other side, the Frontier Red Hawks. Uh, we have number one, Macy DeMio. Number five, Lila Roach, senior and captain. Number six, Ashley Taylor. Harper Modesto, number nine. Uh, Ten, Mackenzie, or Madison McKinney. Number 12, Delaney Fightfield. Number 13, Rebecca Wallace-West, and she's a captain as well. Number 16, Abby Glo Grover. Number 22, Haley Hadowski. Number 25, Claire Kirkendall. And number 99, in goalkeeping, is Ella Flanders. So it'll be an interesting game. Again, Alec will be co-hosting today with me. And um, once again, it's just uh, it's the round of 16, and it's just interesting to see the, the Green Wave and the Red Hawks meet again in the playoffs. Out. So they're in their in their huddles right now, and uh, we'll be underway shortly. So we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Yeah, don't, don't don't stop recording. Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Canaxis Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echo, Braden Fernandez, Killian Stewart, and Desmond on the scene tonight as well. Uh, the game should be underway very shortly, as um, it looks like Greenfield, they're going to start with it. Yeah, it's uh, basically a rematch of uh, the Western Mass Finals. Yeah, and, uh, like I said uh, earlier, it's just a week ago, Alec. We filmed that on Halloween, so it looks like it'll be uh, Lilia Carmichael, senior for the Green Wave, going to start with it. And on our sideline, we have Mackenzie Boswell to her left, and I'm not sure who's on the right. I think the refs are just going over something right now, so. Yeah, I think they're just checking to make sure that they're uh, all in the right positions for starting. No yeah, illegal formations, making sure the numbers that are out there are the right numbers. All right, here we go. As the refs sprint onto the field. Again, you know, Frontier, they definitely have that bench, and it, we're going to see it when it comes later in the game, if they'll may have more speed like than uh, Greenfield so 
Here goes Lilia uh, Carmichael. She passes back to uh, Cassie Clothier. Now over to the sideline to Josie Clothier. And Rebecca Wallace West takes control. She's going down the sideline for the Red Hawks. All the way to the corner almost. And stopping and go, going from out of bounds is uh, that was Amelia Keeler for Greenfield. And I think it was a foot. Greenfield st starts with it, it was Amelia Keeler. And Haley Hadowski making the interception there, and now it's gonna be Amelia Keeler. And that was Claire Kirkendall who made that interception. Now pass up to Rebecca Wallace West. Trying to get by the def defenders, runs into a little bit of trouble, and Lila Roach. She's fighting. I think it's Real Wydillo for it, and Hilidowski with the insert. Nice pass, and gonna go out of bounds. Greenfield ball. Yeah, Greenfield's doing a good job defensively off the starting uh, faceoff. Yeah, and you've already seen Frontier be aggressive on offense, like they are with most of their sports. Especially, we have we've, we've seen them. Claire Kirkendall is going to start with it. Pass it over to Lila Roach, and that'll be a foot. Harper Modest or. Got to be like five yards, maybe something like that. Roach is going to start with it again. She's going to make it a pass, and it goes to oh Ashley Taylor's going to steal it back from uh, Gloria McDonald and into oh. the box and a nice pass right in front of the goal. Frontier almost had their chance to get in on that, Tom. Yeah, and here we go. They're going to have a corner. And this could be a big opportunity early for the Hawks. It's going to be Ashley Taylor taking the corner. Passes it out to Lila Roach. Roach. Now Claire Kendall with a chance. Shot again. Oh, oh, what a save by the Greenfield goalie. To be able to dive and stop it and stay with it to stop the rebound too, Tom. Yeah. It was an excellent chance for the Hawks, and unfortunately, it was a great save. Well, no, good, good save by uh, Ainsley Flynn. And now Harper Modesto gets it over to Ashley Taylor. With a chance, with a chance, it's a goal! Oh! So Tom, Frontier comes up big in the first half. Yeah, Madison McKimmy with the goal there. And first goal on the night for the Red Frontier Hawks. brings them Taking a one, up. one to zero. In the first quarter, Frontier takes that lead. So Greenfield wins the face-off. <laughs> headed towards Frontier's goal. Frontier's All right, now Greenfield moving down the sideline. It's Riel Idilo. Greenfield, they want to they wanna answer that goal. Or it was not, it was, uh, it was actually Mackenzie Boswell. Yeah, no, Frontier did a good job uh, consistently getting it towards their goal and uh, just had an amazing opportunity and took it. It's going to be uh, Lila Carmichael. Lila Roach going to try to steal and not sure exactly what happened. Riel Wadillo. Wadillo. See, they're trying to make a nice move. Trying to get past Frontier's defenders. She gets it in and... Now, still a chance. Nice steal. I think that was Maddie Mc Madison McKimmy. So it's going to go out of bounds, and Greenfield takes it. They're going to have an 
an insert. Maybe that's what we found out last last time we did this with me and Mason. Ashley Taylor got to get by a couple defenders or midfielders and good breakup by Greenfield. It's going to be Cassie Clotes here. She's going to take it. Nice move by uh, Carmichael. Greenfield with a chance right now, Alec. They got a lot of defenders to get by, though. As Riel Wadilo takes it at the top of the key. And, and this, this is what Frontier's been good at, too, is just being very aggressive defensively and not allowing teams to score. Uh, that's what they did uh, last time when they played Greenfield uh, at Hoyle High School for the state or the Western Mass playoffs. Yeah. And Greenfield, they're going to have a big an opportunity here to tie it up with a corner. And I think it's going to be Mackenzie Pollen takes the corner, passes it out to Josie Cotier. Gets it back to Mackenzie and good frontier defense. I'm not sure what exactly happened. And Frontier gets the ball back. It's going to be Abby Glover. Trying to get it to Taylor, and Carmichael ends up with it. Ooh. Frontier's ball. Claire Kirkendall trying to get it up to Madison McKimmy. And it goes out of bounds. Greenfield with the insert. It's going to be Amelia Keeler. Wallace West tries to make the interception, and Going to be Brielle Wadilo. And Maddie Mc Madison McKimmy. It's going to try to move it down the sideline. Tries to make a pass along the Roach. Roach with it. Other Roach moving down the sideline now and forced out of bounds. An insert for Greenfield. Frontier's ball. Haley Adowski with it. And intercepted by Rio Guadillo. Ooh, that had to hurt. Yeah, that, that one's. She, she took a limp or two after that one and walked that off. Man, she's already, already wearing the knee brace, so. Frontier, or Greenfield with a chance here. Wydello makes, tries to pass. A nice pass and nice effort by Greenfield to try to keep it in. Good. Frontier gonna have, have they, they wanna get back on offense. As it's kinda been on the far side of the field for us in that, in that cornfield. But even though it's been on the far field. side, they have done a very good job on keeping it still in their possession and still making it so Greenfield haven't scored. Yeah, they, they've done a very good job on defense. You're exactly right, Alec. And Greenfield's gonna have a corner here. It's gonna be taken by, uh, I think it's Mackenzie Pollen. And this this is interesting too, I, uh, corners in uh, field hockey. They always get exciting because it's uh, yeah, it's always a, it's a big chance to score because it's uh, Lot on four. Not, I don't know. It may be seven or eight. Uh, it's basically almost everybody. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost everyone. Maybe, maybe it's uh, seven on four. I don't know. And then everyone has to sprint from the half, halfway line. Um, it kind of reminds me of a technical shot in basketball, where they basically allow the offensive player to have no one surrounded, and then after the ball hits the rim, then they can go for it, basically. Yeah. Ooh, kind of a miss, miss swing, but. Yeah, she whiffed on that one a little bit. <laughs> and it's, it's still on the far side. To be, it hasn't been over here in a while. No, it hasn't. It, it hasn't. It's always been on the bench side of the field for uh, Greenfield and Frontier. Yeah, um, and Greenfield with a big steal there. Is it, I'm pretty sure it's, it's Carmichael doing a good job of. Oh, look at down the that. Field. She's going in between people like it's not no issue. And it's going to end up Frontier's ball. Clark. I think they may have called it the foot, like you said. 
before. Claire Kirkendall with a nice oh, pass look at up that. to Rebecca Wallace West. Oh. Intercepted by Cassie. She only had one defender to beat to get it on the past the half half field. Yeah, and it was a nice stop there by Cassie. By the road Oh, it's stolen back by Greenfield. And Greenfield with a chance, and Claire Kirkendall, good job of clearing it almost. Yeah, Frontier does another good job at stopping uh, offensive opportunity for Greenfield. And Rebecca Wallace West, a captain and senior, has kind of two defenders to be in. Amelia Keeler there kind of stops her. And it, it's it's been over there a lot, Alec. I mean, <laughs> it's been down there too on the Frontier's goal side for most of this last half, first half too. For, yeah. Frontier got the goal, and since then it's all all been Good, down yeah, there. Yeah, Greenfield, they really want that goal back. I mean, they want to try to tie this up, and they haven't really had an opportunity to, to, to shoot on the goal. So as Frontier's defense has been right there, like they're not they're trying not to give them a chance, and. Good job by uh, Madison McKimmy getting it out of bounds. Greenfield will hit it in. It's number seven. It's going to be Amelia Keeler trying to get it to Carmichael and front Claire Kirkendall. What they almost should do is instead of passing over to that corner where all the Greenfield players is, try to pass it over some of the players over on the, the right side of the field for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious why they haven't, but I also think it's just because Greenfield hasn't been giving them the time to pass it. And Rebecca Wallace-West with a big scale, maybe a chance to... Hey, look at that time, yeah. right in the middle of this time. Yeah. Pass Ash half court. Ashley Taylor. For half field. <laughs> half court. <laughs> so they're going to call it, I think, it a, a foot yeah. or something. Yep, it was a, it was a foot. Oh, um, look at that pass. Lyra trying to get it to Taylor, and I think it's uh, Gloria McDonald. She's going to have it for Greenfield. So, Tom, is it correct, too, that depending on how high it hit, two depends on whistles, and also depending on how you hit it with the stick? Yeah. Uh, right? I, th I think so, yeah. I think you're right, Alec. We'll, we'll go with that. And you, you can't hit it on the... the one one side of your stick you can't use, which is definitely interesting. I I would I, I assume the back side. Yeah. Well, if you couldn't use the front side, that'd be. <laughs> well, that'd be it, it's good. the way the sticks are designed too. Yeah. And Carmichael trying to get past Frontiers midfielders and Taylor with it now. Ashley Taylor. Harper Modesto, an eighth grader, going to start with it. Modesto trying to make a nice pass, get it into. So they're going to call it a foot again because it hit a foot of a player. Yeah. And it's Ivy Ray that there for Greenfield, and it's going to be Stella Heflin for the Hawks. Oh. And good defense there. Nice clear by uh, Amelia Keeler. Yeah, really nice clear by Greenfield there. Our uh, Frontier doing a good job just sticking with it, too. I tell you, Tim, it's a very windy day. Yes, it's, it's, it is it It is definitely windy out. But at least it's nice. Yes. And Frontier, they're going to have a corner. Ashley Taylor's going to take it for the Hawks. I mean, it's November and it's there's not snow on the ground, so. It's and November and I'm not freezing. And it's like <laughs> we're, we're wearing t-shirts and I'm wearing shorts as usual. I, what am I not? <laughs> um, you do hockey games in shorts, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, hey, field hockey game, hockey game. No, I'm talking same. about normal hockey. I know, ice <laughs> hockey. Of course, you got to do it every day. What am I the only time I wear pants is when I have to go to work. So Greenfield driving up the bench side. Oh. <laughs> that, yeah, that's going to be a trip, and it's going to be, oh, no, never mind. It's going to be Frontier's ball. Madison Kimmy with an insert, gets it to Lyle Roach. Roach. Nice gets pass. it over to Har yeah, Harper and Modesto. And runs into Greenfield players. It's going to be Gloria McDonald. Comes right over to us. <laughs> and... It's going to 
to be Gore McDonald Dude, with the insert. That lacrosse ball or field hockey ball is weird compared yeah. to any type of balls. Yeah, it's heavy and it's plastic. It, it, it felt like a pool ball. <laughs> it almost hit us too. It almost it, it felt like it. yeah, it, but it felt like a pool ball and it also felt like a bowling ball plastic. All right, so that's, that's gonna that's gonna do it, Alec, for the first quarter. Frontier Redhawks off of Madison McKimmy scoring that first goal early on in the first quarter. So after one, it's one to zero of the uh, Massachusetts State. Round of 16. They're going to take a quick break. So we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Keckel, Killian, Desmond. We are underway now. Greenfield already on the attack, Alec, and they really, really want that goal back to try to tie this game up. And one thing that's definitely interesting is um, instead of Greenfield scoring first like they did in the the Western Mass Final, the, the yeah, it was Frontier. the opposite. Frontier yeah. scored. Yeah. But what's very interesting too is that it didn't take as long as the Western Mass either. Uh, we had a goal within the first period this game. I believe it was up until like the second half we had to wait for a goal. Yeah. And, um, so Greenfield's going to, wh what is it you called it, Tom? An insert. An insert. <laughs> and now Rebecca Wallace. Oh, West she's gone. Down. Yeah, she's, she's gone. She's got the speed out. She, not only does she have the speed, but she has the control to be able to control the ball to keep it in front, but to also keep control of it to keep going. I've seen I've seen multiple players attempt to try to do a run like her, but not be able to control the ball ball as easy. And Frontier still on the attack, but Greenfield. I think there was. Some Foot. It's going to be Brielle Wadil. Get over to Ray, I, I, Ivy Ray for the green wave. And it'll just go out of bounds. Frontier's ball. It's going to be Harper Modesto with the insert. And she's going to try to get it. An in, interception by. Uh, a very Brielle. good interception by uh, Greenfield uh, off that insert. Now Rebecca Wallace West, she's gonna have it. Move. Look at that control. Yeah, and she's gonna just roll down that sideline. Like, like she, she made that look effortless. Yeah, and it was a good, good stop by uh, Josie Clotier. Now Lila Roach, she's captain and senior for the Hawks. Nice little tap. Gets it over to Harper Modesto. Gets it over halfway line now, and it's going to be. So it, Cassie Klutz here with it. So it looked like they called legal contact maybe Oof. with the stick? Scuff it. Ashley Taylor's going to fight for it. It's going to be Greenfield as Ashley Taylor's still with it, using that sideline. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of ran through Greenfield a little bit. Yeah, that kind of looked like a little awkward of a fall, but I couldn't tell what it was from. It, it looks clean, though. That's what matters. So, Tom. It looked like he called a stick penalty the last two times. It looked like it's what it is, is yeah. if you hit the sticks and not hit the ball, yeah, that's that it's going to be a free hit for whoever last had possession of the ball. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's When the sticks collide and you're, you don't hit the ball, and it's, I think it's the defender's fault. It, it's also, it seems like it's one of, something that they do for safety, too. Yeah, because you also don't want to hit somebody's ankle. Or thighs or knees, yeah, especially yeah. they're only wearing shin guards. Oh. Ooh. So yeah, that would do a, one of those sticks right to the knee. Frontier with an opportunity here. Maddie Madison McKimmy. Good defense by the wave. Yeah, Greenfield did a good job to keep their pressure up to get it out of the area to give their goalie a little bit of breathing room. Haley Hadowski. So you're going to stay Frontier? 
Yeah, I think because they weren't five yards away. On the something. insert? Yeah, or something like that. So Madison McKinney is going to have it here for the Red Hawks. She's so going to she pass back to Haley Dowski. Hadowski's going to try to send it into. Can't tell who that. Yeah, she tried to send it into the middle there uh, yeah, she to see what would happen. And uh, Greenfield just uh, had enough people around them to stop it. Yeah, she tried to get it to Macy DeMio. Um, so number six will be coming off. It looks like they gave her a card or a penalty. Yep, that's going to be uh, Cassie Clotier for the wave. So Frontier has a uh, offensive uh, advantage right now. They're up a person. Yeah, the, yep. Ly Lyra Roach is going to take it, try to get it into the Hawks. Frontier with a chance, and it's going to be Greenfield. I, was, I think it was off somebody's foot. Yes, it was off a of Frontier player's foot uh, instead of the stick. Good job by Amelia Keeler sending, clearing it up there for the, Hawk, uh, the wave. Good job by Abby Glover, and... Greenfield down a man, and it's going to be Ivy Ray trying to move it offensively. Yeah, I see I see Frontier starting to play very aggressive now, seeing that they're up a man compared to Greenfield. It's going to be Riel Wadillo with it for the wave. Har Harper Modesto trying to fight Mackenzie Boswell, and now Ivy Ray. Modesto getting it out of there and Gordon McDonald for the wave now now all of a sudden Macy DeMio on the attack for the Hawks it's gonna be Greenfield's ball swing and a miss it's Amelia Keeler sends it upfield gets it to the, uh, Carmichael Claire Kirkendall trying to get it to Ashley Taylor and Harper Manesto makes a nice stop. See, now it's on our side. It's easy to tell what the numbers are. <laughs> and good job by G Gloria McDonald. It's going to be a foot. So, so Greenfield gets the insert, Tom. Well, not not the insert. The insert's with the bounds out. They get the free hit. <laughs> yes, there you go. Free, we'll call it a free hit <laughs> instead of a free I'm, kick. I'm, I'm curious what they actually call it. Nice move you by... You know what? I'm going to Google it, Tom. Yeah. Nice move by Bri Brielle Wadilo, giving Greenfield a chance, and it's going to be Frontier's ball. I'm not sure what the call was, but... Hadowski's, Haley Hadowski's going to start with it. And Mad Madison McKimmy, it's Greenfield now. They're, they're going to have a big chance here. Frontier needs... Glover just needs to send it upfield almost. Has two defenders to midfielders to beat. And nice move by Glover. Oh, she trips up a little bit. And Gloria McDonald's gonna try to take advantage of that. Harper Modesto's right there. Fighting Gloria McDonald for the ball. Ivy Ray trying to pass it up to her teammates. And Brielle Wadil is going to start with it. <laughs> Trying to get through Frontier's defense, and here comes a big opportunity for the wave. It's, it's going to be a corner. So let's see how many it is, Alec. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight on four, tech, five, including the goalie. So, And you have one person there, too, so... It's really nine on, well, eight on five, we'll call it. Greenfield with a chance, shot, deflected off a stick, and it's right there. Oh, my God, everyone's in front of yeah, the net at this point, though. It says swarm of <laughs> hawks and swarm of wave. wave. <laughs> and another corner for the, uh, the wave. So again, it's going to be Mackenzie Paulin taking the taking the corner. She's a sophomore for the wave. Gets it out to Clotes here, Josie, and Hadowski finally. Good job by Hadowski, taking that corner chance away from Greenfield. 
Yeah, Frontier's been doing a good job altogether defensively taking away the opportunities for Greenfield, but Greenfield has also done a good job on getting them the opportunities to begin with, even with the good defense by Frontier. Yeah, I also wonder what Greenfield's going to have to change to try to get that get that goal back and tie, tie the things up. And I think there's a timeout on the, on the, on the field, so they're going to take a quick break. So we are at your credits here, Community Access W. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echol, and the rest of the FCAT group. It's going to be Frontier's... I think it's Lila Roach starting with it. Roach going to try to use the sideline to her advantage. Gets it to Rebecca Walsh West, who we've seen move down the sideline pretty well this game. And she's fighting Amelia Killer. Gets through her, has Cassie Clotes here to beat, and it's going to be Lila Roach starting with it for the Hawks. Ooh, Lila Roach gets through a defender and sends it up to Taylor. Taylor in a foot race for the ball. And now in the box, Frontier with a chance. Oh, uh -huh. it's going to be a foot. Greenfield goalie, did, though, did a good job to kick it out. So, yeah. So but it looks like it's going to be stay Hawks ball, and it looks like they get a free uh, corner. Yeah. So Ashley Taylor's going to take the corner for the Hawks, and she she gets it over to Claire Kirkendall. Kirk, nice defense there by Gloria McDonald. Yeah, no, she did a good job to get there and get in front of the shot. Now it's going to be uh, Lyle Roach taking it from the uh, top of the key. So I believe that is a that is one of the ones where they got to give her five feet too before they attempt and to block. Here goes Lila Roach again, yeah. And and Brielle Wideal right there, and now in Greenfield's own corner. Nice job by Stella Hefflin. Hefflin. So Greenfield looks like they got it. Yep, it's going to be Brielle Wydilo. Oh, that's going to be da yeah. dangerous. So right there, he, he, he blew it and gave it to Frontier because it was over the hips, which I found out is not legal. Yep. So Harper Modesto is going to start with it for the Hawks. She sends it in, and I believe they're going to call it off a of foot. Maybe? No, no. So she didn't take it five. She has to take it ah. five yards. There you go. See, Tom, you know your stuff. You're starting to get it. Why? Well, I, I heard <laughs> Missy Mahar yell it. So hey. I, know, I know it's right. Abby Glover fighting for the ball. And she's does a nice job moving down the sideline. Oh, nice passes by Frontier right now. Gets it up to Stefflin And Frontier. Harper Manessa is going to take it. Again, has it. Take five yards. <laughs> yeah, uh, you you even hear parents saying it too. She uh, she didn't take it five yards, so it definitely was because of that. Yeah, and they're some of them not happy with the ref. So yeah, you're gonna have a little people that aren't happy with refs, refs, but you know, it, without the refs, there isn't a game. So <laughs> exactly, it would just be complete anarchy out there. <laughs> It'd be street street field hockey. Harper Manessa is gonna gonna take it five yards this time, and so Greenfield takes it now. Yeah, it may have been off of uh, one of the someone's foot or something. Real Wadello, Wadello, gonna get it over to or tried to get it over to Mackenzie Boswell, and it's gonna go to bounds. Modesto is going to take it for the Hawks and insert it. Gets trying to get it to Roach, intercepted by Carmichael and yeah, Greenfield did a good job to break up the insert to make it so Frontier now has to fight a little harder to get up and near the goal. And it went went down. 
Not sure what the call was, but it's going to be Green Wave's ball. Modesto's going to take it five yards, pass it in, and it'll go to bounce. So Greenfield gets to insert, or is it a free hit because it went out near? Yeah, it's going to be like a goalie, basically, uh, kick. Yeah, goalie kick or... So I, would, I, I think, I don't know what they call it, but it, Greenfield free, taking free the free hit. It works out. Frontier takes Maddie it. Mc, Maddie McKimmy with the, uh, Madison McKimmy, whoops. She's going. I like her stick. Yeah. Fire. I, fire. I noticed that too, Frontier, uh, they, a lot of the team's uh, sticks are kind of like the same color themed. Yeah, a lot of them are, I like the tape. You know, <laughs> oh yeah, pink's actually one of my favorite colors. You know, pink and cyan. But you never catch me wearing pink. <laughs> uh, Rebecca Wallace West moving down the oh, sideline. She is cruising. Yeah, she's she's been doing that a lot this game, using that sideline to her advantage. She does it a lot, a lot in games in general. That's one of her things. Is she Ooh. can cruise with the ball if she gets the openings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Frontier with an opportunity. It's going to... Hoffman and fighting. It's going to be... So that Gloria ends it, Tom, for us. Yeah. For the so first half. Still one to nothing off of Madison McKinney's goal for the Red Hawks with the lead. Um, they're going to take half time, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Command Access W. We'll be back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Tom Albert on commentary and F the rest of the FCAT crew tonight. Frontier today. starts with it, Tom. Yeah, Frontier, you know, they, uh, well, Greenfield started with the f in the first, so. Pass back to Lila Roach from Macy DeMio. Trying to get it up to Taylor, intercepted by uh, Ivy Ray. And Taylor. Gonna move down the sideline for the Red Hawks. <laughs> and Taylor gets it into DeMio and it's sent out. I'm not sure who from the Green Wave and good job by Grover. <laughs> and uh, Green Wave trying to stop Frontier's offense now. Good de good interception by Lila Roach and she does a good job handling the ball. Ainsley Flynn kicks it out for the green wave and Frontier um, insert it looks like or no free hit as Al calls it. <laughs> Well, I don't know the proper name to it, and I, I mean, don't want to call it the wrong thing either. I mean, we could call it a free kick, but that's soccer, so you can't kick the ball in this sport. Lila Roach over to, I think it's Modesto, and now back to Roach. Roach sends it in. Hawks with a chance here, DeMeo, and it's going to be a corner for the Hawks, yeah. I believe this is their third or fourth corner of yeah. the day. Yeah. At least, at least, at least the fourth, I believe. Yeah, yeah. It's really so uh, It's going to be Lila Roach taking the corner for the Hawks. She sends it out, and it looks like Claire Kirkendall is going to take it back to Roach now. Roach, you're trying to set it in. Interception by Clotier. This nice shot on goal. It's going to be Haley Lowski with the goal for the Red Hawks. That's going to put them up two to nothing, Alec. Yeah, nice uh, play off the corner. In the third quarter here, right at the start of it, second goal goes to Haley Lowski. I'm pretty sure. So Greenfield gets the face off for this one. In Greenfield, they really need an opportunity to try to get back in this game. They need to get a goal this period to yeah. make it so they're still in it. 
because coming up two goals short in the fourth is not going to be easy. It would be easier for them to get one in this half. No, it's definitely not going to be. And Greenfield with a chance here. Good clearance by Lila Roach and Rebecca Walls West trying to go down the sideline. Cut off by Amelia Keeler. Intercepted by Frontier. Yep. Demio and now Brielle with it. Brielle sends it in for the Greenfield. And nice cross though, pass for a Greenfield. Yeah, that was just no Greenfield player to take the advantage on it. Yeah, it was almost almost too quick, but it. it no, if, it, was, if so, it if, wasn't too quick. It was there was no one around where she ended up well, passing it. You you have to you have to catch it and then shoot. So I don't know. Nobody. It went through everybody. And now Greenfield still with a chance here. And oh, it's gonna be a foot. But that um, that looked like it kind of hurt because it looked like it hit the back of their calf. Yeah, yeah it's, it went off of Ivy Ray and Frontier's gonna have a start with it here. Go out of bounds and Greenfield gets the. Glory. Yep. In, in, insert. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Gloria McDonald with it. She's going to insert it for a green wave. Nice interception by Frontier. Rebecca she, Wallace West has just a def two defenders to beat almost. She's still going. Yeah. Doing a great job. Still, still going. <laughs> she has a chance to just shoot or pass. She's going to try to pass. and. You know, that's a very good play by Frontier offensively. She kept going even though they have. Greenfield dis, uh, disrupted it a tiny bit, but she yeah. was able to control it enough miss, to still keep miss going. Miss it there, and a steal by Madison McKimmy. Now, a sh good job by Ainsley Flynn, kind of. Yeah, she just uh, just had enough time to drop down there to stop it. Yeah, put it, definitely putting her body on the line there, you know. I would not want to be anywhere near those swinging sticks. Now going up the sideline is Coates here for the green wave. Gets it over to Carmichael. Carmichael moving the ball well now. Gets it over Ivy Ray. So the little issue Stop. there, the little issue there on that one, Tom, is she passed it behind and instead yep. of in front and made the offensive player stop. And, and, and Abby Glover doing a great job using that sideline to her advantage and move had the steal and Oh, nice off defensive play by Frontier to stop that. Yeah, and her. great, great Good. job by her trying to give her team another opportunity to score, um, or like have a chance to. Um, Real ideal. She's looking to the right, and she's gonna hit it right yep. to us. She's gonna pass it up to. Uh, Mackenzie Pollen. But a little too much on that one, so it will stay Frontier's ball, and they'll insert it. Haley Adowski with the insert. Nice pass up. Ow, the off the foot. <laughs> well, I think it kind of missing. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Josie Clotier with the insert for the, uh, the wave. And... Uh, Carmichael, nice move, pass, shot, kind of nice opportunity, and ooh, nice move by, I think it's Josie Clotier. So they're going to blow a whistle, be Frontier taking this one. So it's going to be Haley Adowski <laughs> for the Hawks, she's going to get it over to uh, Madison McKimmy, go to bounds, it's going to be Frontier's insert, Madison McKimmy's going to take it here. She's going to take it, pass it over to Lila Roach, senior and captain. Gets it over now to Harper Modesto. Modesto gets it up to Stella Off, Eflin. Gets it over halfway line and moving well down the sideline. Still going, too. Yeah. Eflin doing a great job. Tries to pass and good defense by Green Wave. Now, top of the left semicircle almost and Frontier will have a free hit nice chance Greenfield still trying to clear it good job by Ivy Ray trying to get it out of there she's going to send it up the sideline and good 
good clear by Greenfield to just make it so their defenders can uh, catch their breath and refine the people who they need to cover. And Abby Glover trying to get through two of the defenders. It's going to be Frontier. Ball, Harper Modesto is going to take it. An eighth grader for the Red Hawks. Trying to figure out what to do with it. And I'm not sure who it is. I think it's Glory McDonald, maybe. Oh, that one hit off hit off her hand. That one's gotta be painful. Frontier doing a good job of keeping it in Greenfield's side of the field. That one's not. That one was high, a high hit, and Claire Kirkendall is going to take it. Gets it up to Harper Modesto. Modesto, nice move. Gets it over to Stella Huffland, and now Greenfield. Carmichael trying to give it a pollen, and it will be a foot. Madison McKinney takes advantage of this and gets it over to trying to get it to Brooke of Walsh West. And, Pass just Walls West taking advantage of this. She's going towards the goal and they called something though beforehand. I think it maybe is I don't know what that is, but it's going to be Amelia Keeler with a start here for Greenfield. Ooh. Another Roach now with it for the Hawks. Gets it into the semicircle and Go to bounds. Green waves ball. Um, it's going to be Madeline Hayes, a sophomore for Greenfield, is going to start with it. Ray gets it over to the sideline to one of her teammates. I can't quite tell. Modesto fighting for the ball there, and Greenfield's going to start with it. It's going to be Cassie Clotes here with it now. Gets it over to Carmichael. Carmichael's going to try to go down the center of the pitch. Nice breakup by Frontier, but it will stay Greenfield. Or no, they're going to call Frontier. Nope, it's going to be Greenfield. It, he pointed it, this way. I don't know. He pointed towards Frontier, so I... Well, I, I think it was... That like, was I the confusion know. part. Yeah. Stell Hefflin has, has Clotes here to beat. And it will be... Harper. Frontier balls. Yep, Harper Modesto is going to take it. And she sends it up to Hefflin. Frontier with it. it it's when the... I, don't, I forget what... Um, they call it, but ooh, it's gonna be dangerous. Yeah, dangerous play. It's too high. So, Brielle White Whitella was gonna take it for Greenfield, but Frontier is still doing a good job offensively and defensively throughout this game. Brielle with it, get trying to get it up to Carmichael. Frontier. Claire's Kirkendall shut, shut, shutting them off around the halfway line. Now Greenfield with a chance. Heliodowski, she's going to get to her first. And she moves the ball well. Great job by Haley. And now Maddie, Madison McKinney. Yeah, Frontier just doing a good job taking away the opportunities for Greenfield to intercept their passes. They're sticking with it and, uh, Yep, Basically, getting the loose balls. It's been um, a lot of right now. It's the Hawks have really been all on it, and I wonder again if it's anything to do with um, not having much of a. They, Frontier has a deep bench, and they can always go to. I'm not sure right. about that because I haven't really seen that many subs. I know they've subbed a couple players here and there, but. And that that's 
that's the hard thing to tell right now because we haven't really seen that many subs and if they have subbed anyone it was on the timeouts yeah. where we didn't really get the notice if they did or not yeah so it's going to be interesting to see if that is the case throughout the rest of this last of the second half i mean frontier they always have a ch have have players to go to if needed um oh that's gonna be greenfield i think it was a trip yeah they're gonna call it a trip even so Cassie Coates here is going to take it. But Tom, Frontier has just done a good job intercepting the passing lanes and even even scooping up their loose balls from their inaccurate passes is helping too. Now it's going to go out of bounds. It's Greenfield be, with the insert. Yep, Josie Coates here. And now, like you said, Alec, um, Madison McKimmy right there to intercept the pass, and Stella Heflin's going to try to move down the center of the field. But but if you were to continue watching, watch how many times Greenfield, or Frontier, I mean, if there's a ball close enough to them that's not no one's around, they're there. Yeah. They're getting there. And, and that, that's the big difference right now is they're getting the, the, the loose balls, and that's the big difference in this game. Yeah. And um, they're doing a great job of spreading their players out when they need to and having players like when they're on offense right now they have a couple players in the backfield in case greenfield trying to get up it was greenfield not really having a player to pass to almost as they have almost everyone on defense which is a tough thing to um to do, to do because you have to basically run down the sideline and wait for your other players to get up upfield It's going to be Laura Seblin? Nope. It Riel Wadilla, maybe? Yeah. It's hard to tell from here what the, n what the number is. Riel with it again, and it's just going to end up in Stella Heflin's stick. Heflin trying to make a pass and a good interception by Clotier. Or, nope, that was uh, Laura Stebbins. Stebbin, Abby Gover doing a good job moving the ball and unable to get through one of Greenfield's defense. I think it was a, I'm not sure what happened, but Greenfield's going to end up with it. Now moving, the, good job moving the ball is uh, Mackenzie Boswell. That's going to end the third quarter, Alec. And after three, three, it's two to zero and two, two to zero. <laughs> and uh, they're going to take a quick break. So we're watching Frontier Community Access Television. And we'll see you in a bit. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel on the commentary tonight, as well as some FCAT helpers on the on the high pod. We gotta name the high pod. It's gonna be Billy. Billy today. <laughs> Billy the high pod? Nah, nah, it's gonna be H. H the high pod. H pod. H pod. Well, Frontier's gonna start with it, and it's gonna be Modesto trying to get it up to Ashley Taylor. She's gonna try to get down that sideline, and it will be uh, Brielle Wadilo. With, with the it? insert, yep. I love. I lo I like that actually. It's a. It's. But I like it better than like a inbound. Yeah. Free Cause, throw. Because technically they 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 don't have to hit it right away either. They can choose to bring it in. Too, yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. And they have to take it five yards if they do. Taylor doing oh, a great job this. here. Taylor's gonna pass off to Rebecca. Oh, Lewis. what an opportunity! And oh, uh, uh, just unlucky is is. Ainsley Fun was kind of off her mark, and she's they still. But what a chance! But I have to give props on the Greenfield goalie to stop that one because yeah, that was that was a one of the best opportunities that Frontier has seen, other than two other goals. Yeah, and you don't want Frontier to get up three to nothing right now. So otherwise, it's going to be hard to come back, especially in this last 15 minutes. Taylor with the, the with the corner gets it to Hudowski and. Another corner. 
So Taylor will take it again for the Red Ox. Another big chance. If I remember correctly, they scored off their last uh, corner. Yeah, and maybe in the, uh, yeah, or, yeah, I think you're right. Claire Kirkendall with it, and it's so low they'll be, tier. They'll be one for two. Well, or one for three, I believe, well, on well, corners. No, I, th I think they've had a couple more corners than that. But, but they made one out of how many that they have done, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lilia Carmichael trying to move down the sideline, giving her team a chance, and Lila Roach. And now it's going to be Amelia Keeler with it. Haley Dowski with good defense there. And it'll go to bounds. <laughs> Josie Klutz here. Josie gets it into Car Carmichael. Ooh. Carmichael, nice move. But a good breakup by Frontier, but Greenfield's Ooh. staying with it, Tom. Yeah, she's she's moving the ball well. and They're going to call it elbow, it looked like. Or at least the sign looked like something like an elbow, so. Yeah, they'll, they'll give Greenfield the corner. They're deciding who's going to take it, and it's going to be Mackenzie Pollen with it. So a big opportunity for the Hawks. They're not the Hawks, the Wave. <laughs> As they, they want to get... Well, it's a big opportunity for both. Frontier can have a big, big defensive stop right here, Tom. Yeah, and, but Greenfield, they, they want to try to put this game within one. And... Another corner. Oh, here we go again, Alex. You know, hey, Frontier did a good job uh, getting there and make, smothering them, not giving them an opportunity to shoot. Let's see if they can do it again. Yeah, you have Lila Roach, McKin uh, Madison McKimmy, Claire Kirkendall, and Haley Adowski in there. So, Pollen with another insert, or not insert, uh, corner. She gets it out out to Josie. Now to Carmichael. Good defense by Madison McKimmy. Carmichael sends it in and another corner, Alex. Yeah, but Frontier again doing a good job to make it so they're not getting anything on the corners. Greenfield has to do a little bit quicker of a job to get the ball off when they get it because they're not having the chance to shoot it because Frontier is able to get there to break it up. And here we go again, same four in the box. Holland's going to send it out. Gets it out to Clotes here. Or no, that was Ivy Ray. Was sh shot by Brielle. Another shot, and finally Frontier. They, they catch a break. Yeah, Frontier did a very good job, Tom, uh, goalie-wise blocking it, but also the defenders for Frontier getting there to make it so they couldn't get a rebound on it either. Yeah, Claire, Claire Kirkendall trying to find an outlet almost. So it'll be Greenfield with the insert. Yeah, but it's, it's going to be Josie Klutz here. So we'll uh, another, stay Greenfield yeah, another, ball. Yeah, another corner, I'm pretty sure. So this is, this is four corners and... Uh, 0 for 4. Had, yeah, well, no, 0 for, 0 for 3. You, you hope there. So Mackenzie Pollen's going to take another crack at taking that corner. Let's see if they can get the ball off a little quicker too, Tom. She sends it out to Ivy Ray. Now Clotier, Josie takes it. And Frontier, it's going to be Frontier's ball. So Frontier did a very good job once again, Tom, to stop that corner. And I believe, Tom, if I remember correctly, is this like soccer where the clock is running? Yes, I'm pretty sure the clock's always running, um, except for timeouts. So this is another game where the more that they have the opportunity for corners, the more Frontier is able to stop them. It just helps them because it's yeah. chewing up the clock. Yeah, and there's... I, uh, Real wide deal is going to take it for Greenfield. Gets it out to... 
Cassie Coates here, and Rebecca Wallace-West is there for the Hawks. Yeah, Frontier just did another nice job to intercept the pass, and now look at this time, they're on a yep. run again. Ashley Taylor on the counterattack, and runs into... Um, and if you're Frontier's coach, you're happy with that no matter what, because you're up by, by a couple of goals, and uh, you're wasting the clock. Yeah, and again, this is the round of 16, so whoever moves on goes to the quarterfinals in the state tournament. <laughs> and um, I think it's Colts, uh, Cassie quotes here. That's gonna, Lila, in, uh, Lila Roach intercepts it for the Hawks. She's doing a very good job moving the ball well. Gets it into the semicircle. Trying to make a pass in. Nice chance. Oh, and it's no good for the Hawks. So I think it was Macy DeMio trying to try to take the shot there. And Frontier with the corner. So it's going to be actually, again, Ashley Taylor's going to take the corner. Yeah, and Frontier already scored off of one corner. She sends it out to Roach. Roach is going to take a swing. Nice it, block by Greenfield. Yeah, I think, I think it went off the goalie. No, it did go off the goalie, Tom. I heard the pads. I heard the pads when the ball hit. It definitely went off the goalie. Yeah. Oh. So stay front. Greenfield. They're gonna. But, uh, I think it was, they gave him a green card. So they're gonna send her off the off the field. Ooh. That's that was Josie Cloats here. Wait. So it is frontier ball. Yeah. She gave him the ref dished out a green well, card. Well, no. At so. first he at first he was pointing. Uh, at first, Frontier gave it up, thinking that it wasn't theirs. And front, this, this is honestly good for Frontier. That they, they just, if they keep it in Greenfield's end of the um, field again, Brielle is going to have a uh, insert. Sends it all the way, kind of across to the top of the semicircle. Intercepted by Ashley Taylor. Ainsley Flynn kicks it out. Trying to get it to uh, Ivy Bray. Harper Manesto now with it for the Hawks. She's going down the sideline, trying to kind of sends it in the corner, and Ray's going to have an insert. Ref blows the whistle, and Brielle is going to take another insert for her. Hit. She sends it upfield, and Macy Demio with it. So runs into a little bit of a of the trouble and this is just eating the clock out. Yeah, they're uh Greenfield's having a difficult time getting out of their defensive zone and that's definitely gonna hurt them because again, like we said, the clock keeps going and uh, yep. the more it stays down there, the bigger that deficit hurts because it just makes this game even harder to try to come back in. It's gonna be a, a Dangerous hit, dangerous hit. And Frontier is gonna have it. Uh, the Roach is gonna have it for the Hawks. It's definitely cooled off, Alec, and the wind is a little chilly. Yeah, I wish I uh, brought my uh, fleece from the truck. Yeah, I didn't, I, I, I forgot my sweatshirt in the car. I thought uh, I would have uh, gonna be sweating. I'm going to have to pump the heat when I get in the car. This is my, uh, so my, it's my Frontier's corner. Yep. Uh, I don't know how many corners they've had. A they've lot. had they've, they've had a bunch a this lot. game. And Greenfield had a kind of a stretch where they had a couple there. I think it was four or five. Um, Ooh, Greenfield did a good job there getting the break up the pass. And, and af you, have to, you have to say... After this game, Frontier defensively, they've done very well as as well as you know. Right now, I mean, especially in that third quarter too, they've kept it on Greenfield's side as they're doing right now. And but Greenfield has also done a good job just keeping mo their motivation going, trying to get themselves out of the hole that they're in. Too. Yes, yeah, as, as Carmichael's trying to get it out to the sideline, going to go out of bounds. It's 
It's going to be Josie Cloats here. Going to have the insert. Sends it out to Car uh, Carmichael, or tries to, and runs into Clark Kirkenall. Carmichael sends it up to Pollen. Mackenzie Pollen trying to go down, and it's going to be a foot. Greenway's ball. They could have a chance here. Alec, uh, this is a big opportunity for Greenfield. To yeah, to it's, it's it more of an opportunity to get the goose egg off the board. Uh, more than anything and also make it so it's not as tight of a game. The donut? The, the donut, egg. the goose egg. Whatever you want to call it. There's so many words for it. Claire Kirkendall now has it and his front er, Greenfield's still trying to move it. Clotier gets uh, it to Carmichael, runs into Roach and... Yeah, Greenfield did try to do a little fancy spin move there to shoot it in, but Frontier gets there, stops it, and uh, kind of a, a miss hit by Dowski. And it, it, Mackenzie Pollen's going to try to get in. It's going to be a Greenfield corner. Yeah, but good job by Frontier player there to make them work for it too. Yeah, and we got to be get, getting close to the end of the game. So yeah, Frontier has done a good job in general today too, making them work for everything. They're not making it easy on the, Greenfield. The They're making them work. The one thing I, I'm noticing is um, the corner gives them a little time to time to breathe, catch their breath. Um, I mean, you got to be gassed after four quarters of just straight running. Pollen's going to send it out. It goes to Carmichael. It's got to go out of the semicircle now to go back in. Carmichael trying to send it in. Ooh. And Frontier with good a good defense. stop. I think that was Lila Roach. I'm not too positive. I believe it was too, but I'm not positive also. But if it was, she did an amazing job. Cassie Clotier is going to have the, uh, the insert. Frontier is there just to stop him. And here goes Lila Roach. She's just going to. Nice sideline pass. Yeah. Way to get it towards that center line, though. And, and Ashley Taylor, get, great job by her. And now it's going to fall fall to Macy DeMio and Frontier's ball. So this could kind of seal it out if Frontier keeps it on Greenfield's uh, Greenfield side of the Yeah, if they keep field. doing what they're doing, it's... Uh, yeah, I think we're down to our last last few minutes here. It's almost, almost 4 o'clock, so... And Ashley Taylor's going to take it down the sideline for the Hawks. Runs into a little bit of trouble and stays frontier. They're going to have her go back because she started a little bit too early or uh, a little bit away from the spot that it actually went out. Yep. So, so she, she'll get the insert. Yep. It's hard for Modesto. She sends it in. Tries to get it to Macy DeMio. Modesto's going to Get it over to Taylor. Taylor, Frontier with a late chance here. Send it in. Oh, what an opportunity again for Frontier, but Greenfield doing a good job to break it up. But Green, it's Frontier been, it's now putting pressure on both, Greenfield. Both teams are very good defensively. Um, and it's just been kind of the those two goals and big opportunities for the Hawks that they, that's why they're, they're winning this game right now. And defensively, it's kind of a more, you know, more been a defensive game. So that's going to do it. Frontier wins. What's so the final score, Tom? In the in the rematch, Frontier is going to win it uh, two to nothing. It's going to be the in the first quarter. It was Madison McKimmy who scored first for the Hawks, and in the third quarter there, it was Haley Dowski. So. That's going to end Greenfield's season. And Frontier is going to move on to the, the lead eight, you could call it, <laughs> of the state final or state uh, playoffs. I, and so I know that we do plan on trying to get it done when, if it's uh, possible. Yeah. So we'll stay tuned for it if we're able to. Yeah, so we will see you guys soon. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alex Geckel, I've got helpers today, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.